My understanding is some of them Tunisians done heard what I said about how I think they're a pretty decent group of people. And uh, they thought, wow, that Vlad Putin sure wants to get me involved in this war. He thinks no one even knows this country exists. No one cares about them Tunisians. They're just a little baby over there over by that Libya. And well, normal Texans call it Libya. <laughs> Lubia is what they call it when you're when you're from the Middle East. Anyway, so uh, some people in Libya, well, not Libya. Libya is a different situation. Libya is completely. I don't want to talk about Libya. Why? Because I don't know what we're doing in Libya. Basically, Libya is one of them places, not very stable, not a great place to keep nuclear weapons. It's, it's one of those places that could 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 really turn bad for you. And so it's not really a great place if Vlad wants to put some nukes on the Mediterranean. I would think Tunis is a not, nice, nice place over there. Where else you got over there? You got Liberia. <laughs> I don't even know if you can, uh, if Liberia is on, on the Mediterranean, but I do know who Charles Taylor is. So all I'm saying is I am a foreign policy person. That's not a concern. Uh, the concern is that I'm gonna start World War III, but actually my plan is basically to start World War III in a way that all the poor people have a chance to actually fight. And I figure if old Vlad can't use those nukes, because what's he going to do nuke his own people? Then uh, it might be more fair. But it ain't, it ain't too fair for you if you're from a country that's fascist. That's the thing. It's kind of weird. I'm saying I'm trying to make it fair for the poor, poor folks. Because in, re in reality, them, them Ruskies actually have more power. I mean, think about it. And he, where, where is uh, Melania from? She's from like, uh, isn't she from like Slovakia or something like that? She ain't from Slovakia. She's from somewhere near there though. She's from she's from some one of, one of those Slavic countries. Uh, is that what you call it? I don't even know. Ken Jennings. Where's Melania Trump from? Somewhere with an S. Not Slovakia. It's the other one. Not Syria. Well, Syria. Is that even a country? All right. This is getting really bad. All right. Apparently I don't know much about uh, Eastern Europe, the history of it. And I do know Kosovo exists and I know Bosnia and I know that they had that, that conflict over there and I know Bill Clinton done bob bombed Kosovo at one point. But all I'm saying is that's not what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm trying to figure out Melania Trump's from where? She's from the former Soviet Union, I know that, but she's from a certain country, right? And when she came here, did she actually have relations with KGB or some sort of spy and see I'm not saying I'm not saying she did I'm just saying like did she okay so um, even I didn't notice that because I, I have a rule don't judge a book by its accent because if there's anything I know them Ruskies that speak perfect English they speak like Americans they'll speak like English folk them Ruskies will speak like all kinds of people you never know what you never know. It's like, I'm from Germany. Uh-uh, you're Ruski. You never really know. They, but usually they'll speak like an American. There are a lot of folks who speak American, not actually American. Uh, and so I don't judge, I don't assume you're a spy because you got you an accent. If there's anything I know, is I should probably not assume everyone's a spy, but then I assume everyone's a spy even though you're not a spy. But then I also, I, I, I need to stop assuming people are in on it. Because I think people know who I am because I did this hunger strike because I do know people know who I am and I do know certain countries know who I am. But then it's like weird how like I could not be known in the United States but then I'm known in other countries but then I'm not that known in other countries because what happened is if there's anything will make people not trust you, it's you fuck their money. Seriously. They're watching you. you, you, you I, I had this thing called the code of many colors. I'm going to cut off the drugs. I communicate about the drugs with my color of my shirt. I bought a coat of many colors. It's from Ralph Lauren. Thanks, Ralph. Your son. Anyways, um, Ralph Lauren, and no one's gonna know how to sell drugs because I'm not. I'm gonna wear a coat of many colors. It was a very, very effective strategy. I wore it for a few months, and the next thing you know, they started selling drugs without me communicating. And I was like, well, well, I guess I guess I just did it. I mean, I did. I didn't. I didn't know how I was. I, I didn't actually. Like I was trying to stop selling drugs and they start selling them and I'm like, all right, well, never mind. We're not, I guess we're not stopping. <laughs> That's pretty much what happened. Um, it was a really great time to be alive for me. All right, so Vladimir Putin.